symptoms set in. It was a fire that could be seen for miles away. A massive blaze at a Mill Creek apartment complex also damaging neighborhood strip mall. Tonight, crews have been busy dealing with the collateral damage, including what was done to two huge cranes at the site. New specialist Andrew Adams is live with the update. Andrew? Aldini, those uh, cranes, they rise high above the apartment complex and they saw significant damage as well to the point where it's believed they're a total loss. Damage is probably above a million dollars on those. Well, getting those down is going to take top priority because as it stands right now, firefighters can't even go inside. It's not safe for them until they're down and they can't get the answers that everybody's looking for right now. Rarely does construction. Um, I don't think I'd want that job. Requires such deconstruction. It's just a shame. I really <laughs> hate to see it, you know. Here, one project became an entirely different one. I felt like the, the pieces of the crane were going right over my house. <laughs> As work crews dismantled these massive cranes. They're actually cutting this crane apart using a, a, a torch, um, so that way they can remove the cranes from the scene. You can't take them apart like uh, like we would be able to normally if you just cut their, their uh, fire weekend. The fire was a development nobody saw coming. One minute it was fine, and the next minute it was a blaze. It was uh, huge flames and then huge plumes of black smoke. The aftermath, also huge and widespread. This. <laughs> the vinyl siding of my house is melted. Until the cranes are down. Nobody is allowed inside. Right, I think that's what they're afraid of, is that it could fall still. Not firefighters looking to investigate. Not workers at the strip mall. Very sad, because a lot of these businesses are all privately owned. The pharmacist came over and talked to me today, and he said his roof is gone, so I don't know how they recover from that. For now, deconstructing is all anyone can do. Yeah, it's kind of scary. I'm wondering what else is going to happen. After a fire that was purely destructive. Yes, it is. It's terrible. Yeah. Well, KSL talked to multiple business owners here today. It's just a watching and waiting game for them right now, but obviously a lot of concern going forward, depending on the damage, a lot of concern about their workers. Uh, the only injury was to the owner of an alterations business. We have been told that uh, she is expected to recover.